dashed or dot lines can be confusing in Affinity. Let's take a quick look to see how they work. To change a solid line to a dashed line, we can use the stroke properties in the toolbar which gets enabled when a curve object is selected. As you can see, we can select the last style which is the dashed line. Depending on your previous settings, you might see a dashed line or not. I will explain later in the video why you wouldn't see a dashed line. We now have the dash number grid at the bottom of the pop-up window, which are three number pairs allowing us to create a dash pattern. The numbers with the white boxes below represent the dash and the grayed out ones the gap. The first pair sets the length of the initial dash and gap. The value used here is a ratio number based on the line thickness. So a value of 2 would result in a dash or a gap of 2 times the line thickness. To clarify how this works in practice, let me enable a group of squares with a width equal to the line thickness. The dash pattern we have is 110000. With the squares below, you can indeed see that we have one block of a line, the dash, and one block of a gap. As the other pairs are zero, they are skipped and we start over again with one dash, one gap and so on. If I change the starting dash value to two, we can clearly see with the help of the squares that it is indeed now two blocks. Let's modify the second pair and set the dash to one. The result is that we now have a mid dash section which is two blocks wide. We start with a single block dash two blocks of a gap and the second pair now kicks in so we get a block of dash followed with no gap, no dash, no gap and we start over with a single block resulting that the mid dash is two blocks wide. Hope this clarifies how the dashed or the dot line can be customized. I hope this quick video clarifies how the dashed or the dot lines can be customized Keep watching until the end if you want to know more about how line caps impact the dash pattern. A quick tip, you can use the boxes below the dash numbers to change the values with 0.1 increments using your mouse by clicking and dragging on it. Thank you for watching. I mentioned in the beginning of the video that you might not see a dashed or dotted line when you switch to the dashed line type and this has all to do with the line caps. As you can see, I am using the butt cap, which basically states that the line starts and ends with the corresponding notes. Let's change it to square cap and notice how this has affected our dash pattern. Let me reset it to 110000. Interestingly enough, we don't get a dashed line, which initially doesn't make sense because we just provided a dash and a gap. Also notice that the line started earlier, so what is happening exactly? By using the square cap style, half of the line thickness is added to the ends of a line. So the first dash is something like this. Then we should have a gap in the blue block. However, half of the gap is covered by the dash because of the cap style and the other half gets covered from the next dash, resulting in a solid line basically. Actually, this becomes more clear when we change the cap style to the round cap. As mentioned, the gap is there, however, it gets covered mostly by the round cap. Suppose we want a full gap of 1, we need to set the gap value to 2 for these cap styles. Hope this makes sense. Another interesting exception is when we set the initial dash value to 0. You would expect to see no line at all, as there is no dash and only a gap. However, as explained, the square cap and the round cap add half of the line thickness to the beginning and the end of a line, even if there is no actual dash. When I switch to the round cap, this becomes very clear. There is no space for the dash. The round cap adds a half circle at the beginning and a half circle at the end of the dash with zero width resulting in a dot, which is actually pretty cool as this allows us to create dotted lines. Thank you again for tuning in. 
and hopefully the mysteries of the dashed lines are no longer a mystery to you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and until the next video.